Good morning, I am in Skoder. Uh, it's been quite rainy recently, but finally the sun is out and I'm here for a couple more days. So the plan today is I'm going to rent a bike and go to Chirac again. But this time I'm going to go to this restaurant called Spia e Jushit. I'll have the famous Tav crappie here, which is the fish from Lake Skodra. If you watch my vlogs from last week, I already went to Chirac, um, but by the time I got there, it was already sunset, so I didn't really explore much. This time, I'm actually going to go up into the village a bit more. Chirac is located very close to Skodra, and it's just a village right along Lake Skodra, which is the biggest lake in the Balkans. Riding up into Chirac this time. I've heard the main thing to see here is King Zog's Villa, which should be up the mountain a little bit. We'll check that out and yeah, then just explore around here. Behind me is King Zog's summer villa. Um, it is locked, so I'll try to find a way in. Uh, he was a king between 1928 and 1939. Um, I don't know if they allow like visitors just to walk around inside, um, but I'm gonna see if there's a different entrance. It's an awesome view. I have no idea. It doesn't look like there's any entrance. So that's the entrance, but it also looks closed. Okay, so this goes back down. Doesn't look like I will get to King Zog's Villa, but I'm going to leave Chirac now. I'll head to Shmia and Kushit, which is, which means grandparents' house, I think. Shout out to my mom and dad, and uh, to my sister, and to my friend Shige. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, awesome. Alright, the castle's back up there. We're gonna go this way. Alright, found it. It's up here. Okay, it's further up. It's on top of the hill. Of course, I guess the fish will be the reward. After arriving at Spia Ejushit, they were kind enough to show me how some of their Albanian dishes are made. So let's first go through some of the appetizers. This one here is Loch Nor. It's made out of corn flour and spinach, and I didn't see them prepare it, but it looks like this dish also commonly includes cream and onions. What he's cutting now is Barek, or Barek Medoth the spinach. This is made with filo pastry sheets, and it usually takes a longer process because it includes so many layers. This dish also includes onions and olives. The second dish, he's grilling different vegetables, so we have peppers, we have zucchini and we have eggplant and he adds some salt and pepper and mixes it up before throwing it on the grill. These vegetables will later be added to a plate of four different cheeses. The third dish here we have green peppers and tomatoes and it's topped with feta cheese with some oil or butter on top and this will be baked. This is a very simple and common dish here in Albania and it's very tasty. Fourth we have potatoes which he's also going to bake right next to the cheese. Fifth, we have Buk Kalamochi, which is a Northern Albanian or Skodran dish. And what you do is you fry cornbread in oil and after you add a yogurty sauce that soaks into the bread. Sixth, we have cabbage and pickles, a very simple dish. And seventh, we have two different sauces. We have a yogurt type sauce and then we have one called kachamak, which is sort of like a maize porridge, and this is commonly made across the Balkans. All right, so here we have the whole spread of appetizers. They're all very tasty. Personally, I like the first one the best with the Barek and the Loch Nor. And here he is preparing top crappie. So the fish is called carp in English, um, and it's a casserole made with um, tomatoes, onions, garlic, parsley, and salt and pepper. It's very famous here in Skodr, and the fish comes directly from the lake here. 
He bakes this in the oven before serving it as well. The dishes were all very good. I really loved Tav Kropi. That was my first time having it. And I definitely want to come back to Shkodr soon to have it again. Um, they were nice enough to show me in the kitchen and uh, bring me through some of the uh, preparing the appetizers, which I have right in front of me. I'm drinking Raki, which is a traditional Albanian um, drink. This is the Burek here. As I said, it's very flaky. It's very good. One of the best Bureks I've had in Albania so far. This is called Buk Kalamachi. That is delicious. It's very dense and crunchy, unlike other bread. It's very filling. And we have a couple sauces here. This is called Kachimak. Four types of cheese. You got roasted vegetables. And I will I'll dip it in the, the Kachimak again. Mmm. And this is the dish I'm most excited about. This is the top crappie. The fish breaks off easy. Wow, that is delicious. The sauce does taste a bit tomatoey, and it really just complements the fish well. I'll have to try to make this as well. That food was incredible. I had so many good Albanian dishes, and I'm actually tempted just to stay to watch the sunset because it is quite the view, but I can't really bike down in the dark, so I need to head back to Shkodr. Shpia Ejushit is a very popular restaurant here, and it also has some nice rooms, and it really has an incredible view. You can see the castle way out in the distance, and it's right over the lake as well. It was another day of exploring around Skoder, and I'm catching another nice sunset from up here. I'll drop off the bike, I'll get my hands warm, and I will see you later on. So this might be my last vlog in Shkodr for a while. I definitely plan to come back to the city when it's warmer, but for now I'm going to head back to Tirana. I want to thank everyone for all of these suggestions for things to do in Shkodr. As always, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.